Hello everybody, welcome to Blue Marble Science. We need to talk about the density of Riley, because Anthony's been at it again. Believe me, it's about the same as a brick. Warning, severe facial and monitor damage alert is in effect. Get out the oven mitts, push the monitors back out of punching range. And let's light a dumpster fire and have some fun. Now before we listen to Anthony, let's go over one real simple concept. Density. Density is mass per unit volume. Earth has an average density of 5.515 grams per cubic centimeter. Earth has a density that varies though. It's what we call inhomogeneous, Anthony. That means we've got stuff like water that has a density of 1 gram per cubic centimeter. And then we've got other stuff like lead and uranium and gold that have densities much greater than 10 grams per cubic centimeter. A brick, on the other hand, has an average density of 1.6 grams per cubic centimeter. And it's of uniform density. It's homogeneous, Anthony. The left side of the brick is the same as the right side of the brick. The top of the brick is the same as the bottom of the brick. We can't remove any part of the brick and change its density. We could take some of the water away from the earth and change its density. But we can't do that to a brick. You understand that, right? Well, because um, towards the increase in mass, well, it doesn't do that because mass doesn't attract mass, does it? It's relative to the medium that you're in. For you to go shooting upwards, you would need to be less dense than the medium you're in. And you can demonstrate that with a helium balloon in a swimming pool. If you let go of a helium balloon in a swimming pool in the deep end, I mean, it's going to pull you up anyway. But if you are, pin if you are pinned to the ground uh, underneath the, the swimming pool and then let go of a helium balloon, that's going to go shooting upwards because it is way less dense than the medium it's in. So if you jump out of a plane because your mass is more dense than the medium it's in, it can't go shooting up above you. You just don't understand how relative density works. I, I don't even understand why you're asking that question. It's nonsensical to ask that question. You haven't been. You should try thinking, Jean Sartre. I want. I want to have a go at one of the questions um, here in your chat by Gently's channel. He says, if you're to hang a brick from a scale and chip off bits of it, it will get lighter. The density didn't change, only the mass did. Okay, you're wrong, because we're just talking about this with Anthony. If you chip away at it, um, hang on. Yeah, the mass, would it? Yeah, yeah, the mass is getting less, and the volume is getting less, but it's disproportionate. So you're chipping away more mass per volume than what you think. You th he's correlating or he's equivocating the amount of mass as e keeping the density the, the same, but it's not. You're removing more mass per volume when you're chipping away in a brick. And you can demonstrate that. Right, but if you if you are if you are taking away mass from that brick, aren't you also reducing its mass per unit volume? Yeah, it's a ratio. You're reducing the mass at a different rate to the, what you're reducing its volume. So yes, you are doing both, but they're not equal. They're not equal. So you're reducing more mass per vol to, per unit volume than you are than what you think because you think that you're chopping off an equal amount each time, but you're not. There's miles more mass per volume in a brick because they're heavy than what there would be mass per unit volume in a helium balloon because the light. So it's, it's exactly two different scales moving down at the same time. Well, I guess I was wrong. Anthony Riley, dumb fellow of the year for a reason. Need I say more? Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons down there and a special shout out to the patrons and the PayPals. You guys are terrific. Thank you so much for what you do. With that, I guess we'll see you guys on the next one. Hey Gladys. We're out of here.